Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Land Plays Monster Train, another episode of Monster Train. I'm getting bodied regularly, but we're learning. And today we're trying out a new primary clan, the Stygian Guard. Mystical sirens and ancient totems work together to eradicate the winged from hell. Now what kind of ally do you want here? You know what? Toss me a random, because I have no idea how the purple clan plays, so we might as well, uh, let God decide. <laughs> Let's look at our deck real quick. Okay, a zero cost 4-3 champion. Makes sense. But then, good spells, 6 damage to front enemy unit, restore 3 health. Okay, so this is our backup spell, um, so we're using the Awoken here, I understand. And then 4 train stewards. Um, what do you do? How do, how do we do enough damage to, to do anything? Um, we'll see. We'll start with upgrading our champion. Damage spells cast on this floor cost less, so they would cost zero. Or you get stronger, and every time you strike, you'll give all enemies spell weakness? Wait, the next time a unit is hit by the damage spell, it takes that much damage again for each stack of spell weakness. So you're telling me... Let me get this straight. You're telling me... Every enemy will take 12 damage instead of 6. My god. I still think we want spells 0 to start with, and you're gonna be perhaps unhappy with me. I don't know what a sting spell is, okay? I don't know what a sting spell is. As a result, we will take the infused mallet yet again. Um, I just think things being cheap is much easier for me to wrap my brain around. And you know what? I all, there's another thing I like a great deal here. Enemies start with spikes. Okay, big whoop. All of our damage, maybe literally, <laughs> comes, from, uh, comes from spells. So this seems like kind of a gimme. Anybody taking mallet damage? Thank you. It's a rough one, but I think we gotta put you out there. And then I think we gotta put our steward out there as well, who will also die. Now, at least our champion lives. Let's go. Okay. That was kind of necessary. Mallet? Let's go! Huge! Okay. Um, so again, you gotta come out here. We're still dying. That's no good. You, obviously, you gotta go. You gotta get restored so you live. Just gonna level with you. I can't kill you. Can't I can't kill this unit right here. And as a result, we will just not kill them. How does that sound? Now, I, I recognize right out of the gate. We have a problem. A genuine problem. Um, I think we will struggle mightily against bosses, because we are not unit-driven, we are spell-driven, which represents a bit of a problem for us with enemies that have Relentless. So, like, don't get me wrong, that's pretty sick, but on the other hand, <laughs> how are we supposed to do enough damage to this this minion or this boss before the end, you know? We, we did a pretty good job there. You've only got 14 HP left. We're gonna have to find some way to keep it going. You know what? I think we just did. I think we just did. Look at that. Alright, so first one handled. But we definitely need a unit capable of dealing damage. Even more so than just protecting our champion. Okay. Draw one, discard one. It's interesting. Consume, apply Frostbite 5. So Frostbite is just the opposite of healing. I think. So this is 15 damage to all enemy units over time. But it, it does get consumed. So I kind of think this is like a 6 damage spell with a little bit of extra tick on it. And it could stack in the future, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I definitely think... Um, well, 10 damage to the front enemy unit is good, but everything costs 0 anyway if we cast it on the same floor as our champion. So we'll take the heal instead. 
Or I, rather, I should say all of our spells cost one less. They don't cost zero, but they, they cost one less. Um, let's make some spells better and also get a Stygian unit. Coldachella? I know that's not their name, but... Every time you cast a spell on the floor, you get stronger and tankier. Yo, you apply frostbite to all enemies. Now we're talking. I do like that, don't get me wrong, we're casting a lot of spells. But I think... I think we'll take that right out of the gate. And then let's make some of our spells better. Upgrade a spell to remove consume. Unfortunately, that doesn't do enough for us. Um, I mean, it literally, like, it can't be done, I should say. Plus 15 magic power and consume. It is kind of tempting to deal 18... Well, no, 18 damage and apply frostbite 3. Not really that interested. Um, I will say 21 damage. Consume. Are we going to play each one of these four times? I really doubt it. Um, it's a tough choice, though. <laughs> Just trying to think. We really... Do we like Restore? I think we like Restore okay. We've added one unit. I think we can afford to cut a Restore. And then, hear me out here. I think we'll get rid of a Train Steward. Just to make our deck better earlier. And then let's compromise by making one Frozen Lance powerful. We'll do a big reroll. You really want me to go spell power consume, huh? I don't think I can send it. I think, I think that's a bad shop for us, but I think we're doing what we can in a situation we've never dealt with before. We definitely cannot afford for enemies to have spell shield. We actually, we have a big problem here, too. It's going to be very hard for us to kill the enemy that gives uh, its friends haste. But Spell Shield is just a no-go for us. Um, so, I mean, this has to happen. And then we can cut you. Which is great. Um, and then Cold Kalia is... Your, I'm probably saying it wrong. Maybe it's Cold Celia is going up at the front. Um, and this unit will definitely die. And we can at least get a train steward. Oh, but you have haste. But you're not gonna have haste for long. Okay, good good point, good point. Alright. Wow, we didn't get any of them. Okay, so we'll train steward up at the top is kind of a gimme. Um, Frozen Lance is gonna do 21 damage. But there's really no reason to save it. Um, all you guys are dying to the AoE, which is just really the only thing I could ask for. So I think this was the right card to take for this specific combat. We're about to fight the boss, though. Yo, this is just terrible draw. <laughs> this is just the worst draw we ever could have uh, asked for. But sure, okay. Bring the boss out here. 90 HP is really bad for us, but this is huge. So first one. Three damage, apply... Okay, hold on, hold on. We got other things to do. Start here for zero. What, what, you have haste, so we, we'd like you to die. You are going to die, assuming we live for one attack. Restoration detonation. Wait, is it only damage spells? Damage spells are cheaper. Okay. So we'll heal for 10, which will damage you for 20. Which is great news. Then, we will deal 3 damage to you and keep your frostbite as high as possible. You're still going to die. There's nothing we can really do about that. I think we're going to apply two Frostbite stacks, which is actually amazing. Yeah, you're you're in a world of hurt now. Because of that six, now five Frostbite on you. That Frostbite stacked up mighty quick. And, I mean, honestly... I'm not going to... I'm not going to let you have the indignity of uh, living. I'm going to let a train steward knock you out. <laughs> okay. Plus five magic power on this floor. That's not for us. I think more Flash Freeze is really good, though. Apply Rooted to an enemy unit and draw one. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This was really good for us. I do like the idea of keeping an enemy unit on the ground floor as long as possible so that the Frostbite stacks can, can pog up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. 
So we want spells or units? I think I think we're in full-on unit town, even though our pyre doesn't need the HP. Um, we should probably look at that in advance. I feel like we haven't really gotten what we're looking for out of any of these. But I will say quick does give us the opportunity let me think of it. Let's say an enemy does 14 damage. We'll hit with quick. We'll hit, they'll hit. We'll hit, they'll hit. We get to apply 6 frostbite. Whereas, if we did it the other way, they hit, we hit, they hit, we die. So this will, in some situations, allow us to get one extra AoE frostbite strike, which I think is big. And then I also think, because of the AoE, Plus, it makes it the perfect amount of attack and defense. But I think making this unit super strong so that it's even stronger on AoE is very nice. All right, what do you got for me? This is a yeetable? Oh, it's a copy, isn't it? Copy a card or copy a card five times. Can I be honest with you? I think I want to copy our incredible Frozen Lance five times. I've played enough deck builders. I know when to go pull the ripcord of Zane. Okay? We're getting a little chaotic. Okay, let's not get ridiculous. But um, that's obviously going to be pretty solid. Now, is it good enough? I don't know. Damage shield is going gonna, is gonna to put a damper on us for sure. But we're, we're going to try. We're going to try at least. Okay, we know what we want. We want you on this floor you do two damage we want you here and then we definitely like this I'd really rather not use this here um, I wonder I think you take frostbite at the end of your turn but we might as you know I don't know maybe apply it to this guy let's see how let's see how that goes might as well get some progressive damage on him you never know how much it'll matter. Not too worried about the explosives there, I'll tell you that much. So we attack first, so you're not going to get to do anything. You're the only tricky one here. So let's keep you rooted. We definitely like getting this out there. There's no reason to heal. I still think we do want to do that though i think i think that's necessary just to make sure you die although it would be nice to stack it on the boss as well oh we stacked him anyway because of the yeah let's go because of the fact that he was on our level is what i meant to say um okay so you're, you're dead let's get a train steward just on the second floor just to keep things going here we'll restore your health a little bit now we attack first so you're the only unit that actually concerns me, so I don't actually feel like using any of these. I feel like these are way better used against enemies that will actually not be dying immediately. That was nice. So I gotta think about this for a second. Because you're in a spicy spot. I think you could be destroyed with one of these. That keeps us going strongly there. You're already dying. You could use this. We'll just get another train steward going here. I'm what I'm realizing now is we need units for sure. We can't really punch through here for now, so just work with me. It's gonna suck a little bit. But by taking a little bit of damage on our cold celia, whatever it's called, um, we're going to have the ability to get like a super big heal into damage off of uh, restores in the future. So again, just work with me here, just work with me. I don't mind the frozen lance there. And then you. To be honest, I don't really mind the big frozen lance here either. And then I guess we'll just, uh, I don't really love the idea of train stewarding the top floor in this situation, but I think maybe to get get it out there and save the energy is, is worth it. Plus, it did do some extra damage, I suppose. All right, final wave. Here we go. We're getting some relentless setups here. 
I'd love for you to live through two attacks, but I do not know if it'll happen. In fact, I know it won't happen, unfortunately. But, take one of these, call me in the morning. And then maybe one of these. And then maybe one of these. And then maybe one of these. So you're not going to live through two attacks, unfortunately. But you will live through the first one. So I think you get my restore. So excuse me. Right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get my restore. Okay. <clears throat> I mean... You didn't live through two attacks, but you did get to attack twice. That's... Sorry, that's why I got myself confused in my old, in my old brain there. Um... So more Frostbite on you, please. And then a Lance. And then a Lance. And you're already taking another 30 damage. I don't know if the Frostbite is factored in there, but I think we're definitely going to make it. Okay, so the Frostbite's definitely factored in. Um, and you're going to die, which is good. I will say it maybe went a little bit spicier than I thought it would, but... We're still, I think we definitely were realizing we need more units as soon as possible. I think we really benefit from more cards. Because our damage spells do zero anyway. There's a real temptation to try to get Channel Song <laughs> to work on... Uh, to work on our uh, our AOE minion, no doubt about that. What the heck is sapped though? Minus two energy per stack. I think I think Channel Song has has crazy value for us. So another Frostbite enemy, another kind of weak sweep enemy, and then an enemy where wherever they heal they gain spikes. I'll be real with you. I think Frostbite has like a multiplicative benefit. So we don't have any real super damage. Um, but we have like some, some very solid damage over time. We don't really need to heal our Pyre. So I'm just going to move this way, I guess. And Okay, start with Artifact. When you summon the second unit during a turn, gain four. Or <laughs> units cost minus two. This is disgusting. This is incredible. I think we'll we'll take the immediate like turn one bop. Um, and I think I'd like to remove. I I hate to say it. I'm gonna for now I'm gonna remove two restores, knowing we have better restores coming. We could have only removed one. Um, we can always replace those with something legitimately just better. Uh, and I, I, I think we're going to save our money here, too. But this is... It's getting a little spicy, for sure. We definitely need a unit. Okay, check this out. We're going to get real hot here. We're going to go for the random artifact. Uh-oh. Although these enemies get stronger over time. <laughs> Which is like the exact counter to our build. Um, but we have so many mana regen abilities that I think we got a chance here. I mean, we have good burst damage. That was a really good proc there. Um, we have good burst damage. We just can't rely on it existing forever. Hello. Oh, sorry. I had the door closed. <laughs> that's, that's the door closing arc that happened in the last episode. Okay, hold on. I think we we have so much energy. Train Steward in the front. Frostbite in the back. We gotta ice one of you. We don't have a choice now that I think about it. Um, okay. So you get a little stronger. I'm glad we put the quick enemy at the bottom. That okay, but you're gonna you're gonna die to frostbite regardless. That's great news. Okay, hold on. You took a little damage. This doesn't consume, so it's going to do four damage. That's not very good. 21 damage to you is very good, though. And then... What units do we even have to draw? There's not even any units left in our deck. So Channel Song is literally useless for us right now. Just very dangerous. 
Because you're all dying anyway. I will, we'll wait for Channel Song until we can use it on another train steward. That makes perfect sense to me. Might as well use this. Might as well use this. Now you're going to die as a result. This is great news. I still think we play nothing just to double our chances of drawing train stewards in the future. I think this makes sense. This makes some sense to me. I'm surprised how well this is going. With only two energy, I'm surprised how well this is going. So 21 is a beautiful play there. Oh, never mind. We definitely could have done this differently. But I still think you just do it like this. Six to kill you. 21 to kill you. 21 to kill you. We are using our high damage spells, but... And it's not really giving us that much momentum at, like, at all now that I think about it, but... Okay, let's, let's root one of the uh, strong enemies that's less likely to get out of here. I think we'll do six and six and then flash freeze you and flash freeze you, which will kill you. And then we'll pass turn and save one of our super damage spells. And we're just staggering the enemies to spread them out a little bit now. They did get extra resolve still, though. There's not much I could do about that. Okay, you start here. Now you're dead. Do we have a... Yo, oh, we do have a train steward. Oh my lord, okay. So Channel Song will give us a train steward. This train steward is now unbelievably strong. Uh, welcome to the top of the train. You're already dying. I might... Oh, it's... Just have a package. One, one moment. Scare me a little bit. <laughs> um, you're dying as well. I mean, I don't really see a good reason not to use those right there. And then, uh, for now, I think we're good. But it might be a little spiced. Like, you're only taking 20 damage right now. Obviously, we want you to live as long as possible so you can get more frostbite out there. At least you're quick. That's that's the real thing we got going for us right now. It's one of these, one of these. A little extra frostbite on top, one of these. And then restore doesn't really do anything for us because you do 10 damage. So restore is not really going to do much for us up here either. But we kind of might as well. And then we can play this other train steward as like a blocker for our big boy at the top. I think we're fine. But it's not great. <laughs> we still, if anything, we, we're learning more and more. If we get the chance to go for a, a unit, we got to take the unit, I think. Um, and I think we're just going to accept our pyre is going to take 10 damage here. So I'm going to just give you the frostbite there, because I think that, that matters. There's no way you live through an attack. So you know what? Actually, just get this out of here. We'll, we'll take five damage off of it. I choose to live with that. Now this should be interesting. You are dying! As far as I'm concerned, if you're dying, get these two out of here. We've done exactly what we needed to do, and thank God we did wait to get Channel Song popping. Because um, otherwise, we would have been in a real dicey spot. But we got good rewards, we did do the trial. I don't know what the heck a Vapor Funnel, or Vapor Funnel is. Well, maybe I did in college. Okay, apply days to the enemies when they enter the Pyre Room. Sure, I'll take it, I'll take it. I mean, I do still like this. Discard your hand, apply dazed one to enemy units. This seems so good. Especially to get enemies to stall for a turn so we can put more frostbite on them. I know the other one was legitimately just frostbite, but like... This still seems super good for us. I, I also think ensnare is great. The longer we can keep enemies at the frostbite lairs, the more damage they're going to take over time. I mean, the longer we can keep them at any lair, the more damage they're going to take over time. We still have no units. We could gain an artifact. We don't really need Pyre health, so unfortunately we're going like Spell City again. We got a lot of money at least. Units get an extra upgrade slot. We're going to take it and we're going to hopefully be able to upgrade units in the future. Or get some more units. Um, 
Upgrade a spell to remove consume, but it costs more. So we could remove the 21 damage consume problem. Or remove <laughs> remove consume on channel song. That's very interesting indeed. I'm definitely willing to give that a try. Um, then extra magic power. I actually don't think that benefits us that much. I think we, we could afford to remove more restores. We still need the train stewards, unfortunately. At least, the thing I'll say about the train stewards, at least they're good um, channel song targets. Or at least they do well with channel song. So we no longer, we don't need spells cost minus two. We, we would definitely be better off with sweep, I think, in this case, also giving us uh, spell weakness. If we had more, like we don't have two, da two mana damage spells. Don't even get me started on you. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. You're one, 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 one. I mean, if they only have one health, there's really no reason not to turn it on. <laughs> if they do have more than one health, we face considerable problems as a result of our decision here. But at least we... Better to go out, uh, you know... Like a not being cowardice, I guess. Or not, in, not engaging in cowardice. Okay. So this is a really good starting turn for us because we can put out... The quick enemy, which means all three of these guys will die, and we got nothing to worry about. We don't even need to daze them. We don't need to play anything else, to the best of my knowledge. The quickness should destroy them. Everybody's going to be fine. Great stuff. Great stuff. Now, one of these units I can't help but notice, they got 65 HP. I feel like I've been uh, ripped off in some ways. Since when do you have 65 HP? Now, you... I gotta think about this. You're obviously dead, but you, we gotta cause problems. Um, hear me out here, okay? You ready for this one? This this should be interesting. Um, snare this unit. Please do not draw Channel Song. And snare this unit again. Please do not draw. Thank you for not drawing Channel Song. I'm realizing now we're gonna get so much value out of a Channel Song uh, Frostbite AoE unit that it, my head's going to explode. Alright, there's a little spice here. So we do have Channel Song. I think we have a, a serious obligation to make sure you die, though. So you are dying. You're living. But you don't do any damage. So I'm very okay with this. I think next is Channel Song. But there's no enemy unit. There's no... Not enemy units, sorry. There's just no units for us to draw. So we're going to heal you. We're... Right now you're witnessing my brain at like episode 300 of Slay the Spire. We're thinking about things we were thinking about, you know... Six months into playing Slay the Spire. Which is it's a positive thing. Let me put it that way. I think we will put one more train steward out, um, but we definitely want. Let's go to uh, to channel song our AOE unit without a doubt. Now you are going to heal the full, which is unfortunate. I mean, again, I thought all these units were going to have one HP. I feel like I was lied to in many ways. But if we like, here's the thing: if you get hit by the pyre, you get by the, you get hit by the pyre. Like, what do I care? I think we still play it like this. And now you're dying, which is great news. Um, you guys, you're going to kill me. I, I cannot, if possible, <laughs> allow this to happen. So, that's got to happen. In which case, you're dying. But I don't know if you're dying fast enough. But this will definitely kill you fast enough. We will only take two damage. So we would like to frostbite you and root you, but we don't want to root you in case we draw Channel Song or Cold Celia. It's a tough choice. We'll, we'll try anyway. 
Okay. We still benefit. We just don't get the AoE we're looking for. And not that it matters. We would have drawn it next turn anyway. But we can still play Channel Song on a Train Steward just to get it out there. It's still a positive choice. Uh, no, we can't because we drew the Train Steward. So you see my conundrum here. Anyway, you healed for 10, which is beautiful. Um, can't play that just for draw, huh? Well, we'll pass our turn. At least uh, the boss does not heal. That's the important thing to note here. We have nothing in our draw pile. So that seems horrible. Uh, but hear me out. Flash freeze. I really don't want to hit you guys for 21. <laughs> so let's restore and then discard our whole hand. To apply daze to all enemy units. This gives us one more turn to stack up some frostbite damage. Although, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing? It's your stealth? Not a target in combat for the next two turns. Are you insane? So you're telling me this won't work. You're immune. Took damage from that though. I get it. This is a slay. Is this a slay the spire joke? Does this does this look familiar? Like you didn't even get frostbitten. Well, what the heck am I supposed to do then? How, how am I supposed to stop you? You ever consider how am I, how am I supposed to stop you if you don't get dazed? That did hit you. I guess anything that doesn't target you is okay. Well, obviously we should have played the twenty one then. That's a, you know, without a doubt. Oh my god. Okay. Channel song. Train steward. Train steward now at least can help us out a little bit. <laughs> Not much reason to root you. We'll just hit you for 21 and hope that that gives us the ability to keep the pyre alive. But I don't think it will. I think we're going down here, dude. Oh, but you got dazed by entering. So you're saying there's a chance, but like not really much of a chance? Nope, I'm done. I don't believe it. The first episode of 4 was the strongest. Well, we, we got a lot of learning to do. Let's just be honest. We got a lot of learning to do in, uh, in Monster Train, but what's done is done. If you've enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. It's been 32 minutes and 35 seconds. I hope you've enjoyed it, and of course... Uh, Click the like button if you did. Single best way to help me out as a uh, content creator. And you as a viewer can do it completely free. Just click the like button. We'll be back to try again tomorrow. Um, and hopefully do a little bit better now that we have a little baseline understanding of what's going on. Subscribe if you want to see more Monster Train. It comes out every single day at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And of course, leave your comments. I'll be soaking up the dopamine in the comment section. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!